you want to learn how to create an invasion animation in the GeoLayers plugin in After Effects, stay until the end of this video. In this example, I will create an invasion of Russia into Ukraine. First, go to a new project. Set it to 30 frames per second and let the duration be 10 seconds. Choose the map style. Double click and choose the style imagery. Apply and create. Type Ukraine here, then choose Add to Browser. Do the same with Russia. Click on Ukraine and then draw feature. Same for Russia. Mark the Russia layer and change the color to red. Click OK. Change the mode to Multiply. Click Finalize to improve the quality of the displayed map. Click and hold on the Rectangle tool and then choose the Ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse above the whole map of Ukraine. Go to Transform and put Opacity to 20% so you can see if you cover the whole map with the ellipse. Now put the anchor point somewhere on the border of Ukraine and Russia. Next, click the stopwatch next to scale. And on the first frame put it to zero. Move to the sixth second and here put it to 100. Mark both keyframes. Right click, click keyframe assistant and then easy ease. Next, change track mat to Ukraine. Change opacity again to 100%. Change the mode to multiply. In parent and link, connect it with world map comp anchor and mark 3D layer for that layer. Next, we're going to effects and here type turbulent displace. Add it to our layer. You can change the type of displace, but I will leave it as turbulent. Change complexity to 10, and you will get something like this. Now you can go under our lips layer to add and add repeater. Three copies is okay. Under transform, change end opacity to 20% and scale to 110%. Now it looks much better. Now we are going again to effects and type Lumetri color. Add it to the world map comp layer. Open basic corrections and change saturation to 10. Or maybe 20 looks better. And now at the end, we will animate the camera. So go to the first keyframe. Change the camera and when you are happy, click on the icon for keyframe. Move to the last frame and repeat it. Change the camera angle and when you are happy, again, click the keyframe icon. When you're done, you will get something like this. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button.